So trial two, here we have our green food coloring in water. And I'm just going to mix that with some bleach. And then I'm going to add that into a spectrophotometer. I'm going to run. So here's our bleach. And as that adds, you should see a change from a green to a blue. As the green color really starts to fade quickly. And we're going to take that then, put it into here. And that is going to start to track what our absorbance is over time. Okay, so currently we have a very high absorbance, probably a little too high. We probably have a good source of air there. Really don't want to be too much above one. And then as that reaction happens, as the as the green food dye gets oxidized, we're seeing it start to drop and drop and drop. And so how it drops gives us information on what type of reaction is going on in terms of the mechanism. And so the rate of the reaction we can translate into the elementary steps and what the rate determining step is. Now, if this were a zero order, the line we would see would just continue on in a straight line linearly until it hits zero. Um, in a first and second order, we're going to see more of a curve. And so in order to tell which it would be, we would have to change our axes. So instead of absorbance versus time, we would have to look at natural log of absorbance versus time. And absorbance is directly proportional to molarity. Okay. Uh, and then likewise, one over absorbance versus time would tell us if it's second order or not. So any of those reactions, we would basically be looking for a straight line if we change the axes, and then that gives us information about what's colliding with what in order to get that reaction to happen. Okay. So currently, right here, from the last, you know, 10 sec, well, it's probably quite a bit of seconds, but from here to here, we're seeing a pretty straight line. Now, if that continues on, that's telling us kind of that we have a zero order reaction. But if it instead it starts to slope and gradually change into a curve, then that's going to tell us that rather actually we have a first or second order or something different. Okay, those are our most common, but it doesn't have to be those. Okay, and if we go back over here for a second, take a little break, we can see that this was very dark at the beginning. It was, it was not transparent at all. And now that most of that dye has been oxidized to the point where it's no longer interacting with light, it's been changed into something else. Um, and so we can see that because our absorbance has gone from 2 point something down to 0.4 something. And so it's been a major decrease. So it's five times less concentrated than it was and still continuing to decrease. At this point, we can kind of confirm that we are not a zero order reaction. It would have just been a linear translation down to there, and instead we're seeing a tail off. And so that's telling us we're first and second order. So again, we'd have to check that by changing our axes in order to figure that out. Okay. And here is our cuvette at that point. So you can see that the same reaction is happening in both. And if we stick that back in, that should go back to normal.